ah, the glorious 1970s. Polyester and vibrant colors were everywhere. There was a bike boom going on in the early 70s, and the bike we're going to be looking at may have captured that era better than any other bike of that time. Looking like it would have been right at home on a 70s porno set, behold the T's. Sporting some of the earliest Shimano components to make it to the US, this 30 pound golden, I like to call the color Captain Kirk gold, sexy beast was a creation of the Japanese. That groovy 70s font on the down tube lets you know just how sexy this bike is. If David Cassidy was riding a bike to the Partridge family set way back when, this would have been the bike. Was this the bike that Jack Tripper fell off of on the beach while he was leering at all the girls? Could be. Here we get a better look at the head tube and those early Dura-Ace brakes. Note the quick release for the brake cable. Look at that font. It makes me want to go rake a shag rug. A fork crown worthy of the T's name. These brakes were made long before Dura-Ace was a household name among cyclists. The stem says Ace on it, which I believe is a part of the Dura-Ace group. Again, looking at this bike brings back so many memories, it just makes me want to go get a Slurpee at the 7-Eleven and buy a few comic books. Now the bike does not have a Dura-Ace crank, it has an SR Grand Silver Chain Wheel, which I believe was SR's top of the line crank at that time. Shimano Thunderbird Front Derailer. The bike has a Shimano Lark Rear Derailer, which is the same as a Skylark, except it has this huge bash guard on the front. The Dura-Ace brake levers, nicely detailed. This bike also amazingly has the original tires on it and they're starting to decompose as you see here. I forgot to mention this is an honest to goodness 10 speed, five gears in the back and two in the front. And here is the serial number. I do not know how to date it from this serial number and I'm not sure there's anybody left on the planet that would know, but I'm pretty sure it's from the early 70s. Thanks very much everyone for coming along with us as we checked out this vintage Tease bicycle. It truly was a blast from the past. And you know, back when I was a kid, I used to have a pair of shorts that had little ladybug images all over them. and I really think, man, they just would have worked perfectly riding around town on this bike. Anyway, we'll see you out there, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.